Welcome guys, I'm here in Karlsruhe today. At this point, I'm standing here at Durla Kator KIT Campus South. What to expect from today's video is I'm going to be showing the main buildings of KIT, which is a world-class university. This is my first time, by the way, here in Karlsruhe. Very close to France border, uh, very close to Mannheim Heidelberg, very close to just an hour away from Stuttgart. And yes, this town is mainly known for technology and science. This is what we're going to be exploring. And uh, if you want to know more about KIT, please hop onto their website and see what they have to offer. In fact, what I will tell you is go on Google and just type KIT, Karlsruhe Institute of Technology Alumni. You will see what this institution has done for us. In fact, all of us all across the globe and the kind of contribution what KIT has made for us. Let's start today's video. So on this campus tour, I have Nikhil uh, who is taking me around. He's studying right now Masters in Electrical Engineering here in KIT. Why don't you just quickly introduce yourself before you uh, go ahead. So I'm Nikhil. I'm doing my Masters in Electrical Engineering and Information Technology. So, and my course is Electrical Power Systems. Yeah, it's pretty good here. We are at the moment in the South Campus. They have East, West, North, South. South is the one where major departments, major faculties are, right? Yeah. So majorly, today's video is going to be comprising of South Campus. Nikhil is from Hyderabad, right? Yeah, I'm from, from Hyderabad. Hyderabad. How long are you here in uh, Karlsruhe right now? Like, uh, from the past three months. Three months? Yeah. S still quite relatively new Yeah. in yeah. Germany. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's start. So this is the mechanical building. The statue that you are seeing is the 39. Is the founder of the uh, science based mechanical engineering. Uh, so, there you can see the architecture building of the campus, and yeah, it's really pretty well inside the building. The architecture is very, uh, it's really good. So, here you can see the statue of the Dr. Carl Benz and you don't need any introduction about him. Uh, he's the founder of Mercedes Benz. Right. And and on my right uh, you can see the statue of the Heinrich Hertz. So he's a famous personality Heinrich Hertz. He's a German physicist uh, and he's a he has proved the electromagnetic existence of electromagnetic waves and uh, he's uh, you know the frequency uh, unit of frequency that is Hertz and it, it is his honor. Nikhil, your classes usually happens from Monday to Friday or? Uh, yeah, that depends upon the classes that you are choosing. Right. And like for, it depends upon the subjects that you have chosen and there are like seminars and also, and there are like a lot of activities going on in the campus and everything, something will okay. be happening and yeah it's very nice here so this is this is my building and this is electrical and info, uh, information technology building one of the most important building of the electrical engineering so finally here we are at the faculty for physics physics department <music> To be honest, Nikhil, I have visited a lot of universities mm -hmm. in Germany. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you, today I feel so proud to be here in this particular university. Mm -hmm. After looking at the achievements and the kind of alumni this university has produced. Mm -hmm. And the kind of contribution these people have made to the human life actually. Yeah. For the improvement. How does uh, it feel like to study in the best university in the world, man? Like, it's really uh, amazing here. People are also very welcoming here. Mm -hmm. And normally we have stereotypes that Germans are like this and like this based on the media factors. But it's not like that. Students are very friendly. And also the faculty. Yeah. And you can just, whenever you have the problems, you can just share, uh, ask them, share them. And it's very flexible here. Yeah. Uh, regarding your courses if you don't like particular subjects it's like there's no force that you have to study here and you can ask the faculty and change the course 
as I have done it, like I, I came here in information communication, but I later changed it to electrical power system. Oh, yeah. Okay. So and it is also taught in English. This is the beauty of such high-ranked institution. You know, they want you to improve. They want you to uh, improve in the direction where your goals are, your visions are, and they are here to shape you. And what best could happen to you uh, than learning from the best people in the industry? That's what this institution is known for. Everything is research-based, and right. it's like you don't have to study the old stuff. You will be always studying about the things that are happening currently now. happening. Yeah. Current Currently happening and also the future stuff so and they will take you to the lot of excursions especially yeah, yeah I have been to so many excursions so I feel motivated for studying all in all, all, in all what we are trying to say is studying here definitely will, will add a lot of value and the kind of reputation what this university has across the globe Nikhil I did not ask you mm -hmm. how much did you score in your bachelor's oh pretty less that was like around 72 percent but you got it right yeah so it was like for me it, i didn't even know that i will get into the university because my percentage was very low so i just applied and the documents reached on the last day and i didn't even submit my internships and I later i mailed them and they were very pretty nice and they told yeah you can submit later even after the deadlines were closed i submitted my internships and yeah finally they accepted and within i guess 15 days they have replied me and that i got the admit wow yeah so after walking for I don't know uh, five seven minutes seriously we have to walk a lot it's so big uh, we came to right behind me um, this is the library and right next to the library red orange building is the um, cafeteria Mensa. let's go there to the cafeteria this university is so damn big that if you really go around the campus and ask people like hey where is what building probability is very high that they would say that they don't know they because check the maps. they would check the map well basically they would only know things what has got uh, to do with them point is it's, it's big it's really massive just like their buildings and classrooms and their research how massive they are they also take care of your nutrition though they have three large buildings again for that to accommodate so many students behind me uh, what you see is the auditorium a um, lot of events <laughs> take place at uh, different capacities and uh, what about the attendance here uh, yeah so that is a very pretty good news for the students here so we don't have to uh, have 75% of attendance there is no mandatory for attending the classes if you really like the lecture you can attend or else you just have to uh, clear the exam if you want if it is a mandatory subject for you Right, I mean at the end of the day the goal is to clear the exams, right? Yeah. Gaining the knowledge, enjoying the process. I think yeah. so, uh, you will really like it here because it's mostly research based and you will be excited to learn new stuff, really. favorite place this is gym and that is swimming swimming pool and here is you can do a lot of activities and you can just take the walking card and there are so many activities like zumba uh, sauna and everything is included in that stuff okay. uh, Nikhil what about the uh, accommodation I heard that there's a lot of problem about accommodation here in Karlsruhe yeah there's a problem about the accommodation especially for the new students who are coming here for the first time it's difficult uh, if you get the accommodation back in India it's fine 
but if you are if you didn't find the accommodation uh, and the university is not able to provide then it's a very difficult task to get accommodation here especially when you don't speak german and uh, what about you when you were when you got the uh, admission yeah uh, you already had accommodation how did you how did you do so uh, so when i got the admission i applied to so many student and work okay. so th th those guys are responsible yes. for the uh, providing the accommodation uh, so but here it's a long queue to get after year. so many people even after one year they're not getting the accommodation from them and so my journey was i came here and i was having one of my seniors that he helped me we stay at his place for seven days <laughs> and finally okay. finally and we found one yeah it's, and even though it's like what's the rent uh, so rent is around two people are sharing the room so for each person it's around 260 euros 260 euros yeah. depends on the kind of lifestyle uh -huh. how much privacy you want you pay more yeah right yeah, yeah.